Hey everyone, I'm Tamara Krinsky with the Red Carpet Report. It is a gorgeous day here in Beverly Hills, perfect for the TV Academy Honors, which celebrate excellence in programming that deal with social issues. The shows that are being honored today deal with topics such as cancer, alcoholism, and PTSD, and they do so in a way that is both entertaining and enlightening. We'll be talking to the stars and creators to find out how they do it. So, this film is... Um stunning and, and frightening and um, really powerful. And Alex Gibney is an incredible filmmaker. How did the three of you come to working on it? I know you guys have worked with Alex before. Um, Lori, why don't you start? Uh, the three of us formulated the film together, the idea for the film, uh, based upon um, different reasons. You know, we felt that it was a moral imperative to make the film. Uh, and... After we fleshed out what we wanted the film to be, we then approached Alex and pitched it to him and hired him actually to direct it. Um, and uh, for us, the film uh, is is very important because it's the story of the heroics of young men who are deaf. Uh, and it's all the more poignant because they were deaf, but their voices were heard. They fought for many years to be heard. They were the victims of terrible abuse, and their voices were heard. And so that's why we did it. I would say also that it's one thing, it's an amazingly powerful story that spans centuries. And it's about four little heroic deaf children that fought for 50 years, their entire life, to bring this truth and this justice to the outer world. And they prevailed, and largely because of an amazing filmmaker, Alex Gibney, who's a tremendous director, as you mentioned, Sheila Nevins from HBO, and Richard Plepler and the Whiters really all gained, grabbed forces with an amazing crew as well to bring their story out and it was, it prevailed and that's probably the, the most amazing, amazing triumph I mean, that their, the film, you know, that their okay. story finally was told and so I'm very proud to have been part of it and, and I think that that was instru instrumental in, 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 in our belief that the idea that that could be shown in film not just in print. It's also a film about, it's a film about institutional abuse. It's not just a film about a single morally corrupt individual who goes out of his way to sexually abuse, in this case, over 200 deaf children over a 20 year period. But it's also about institutional abuse, an institution which has the uh, economic capabilities to, to, to stop this abuse. And not only that, to prevent further abuse from happening, but instead makes a conscious decision to go out of its way to perpetuate it. And, and this is the first known case, as Jed is mentioning, the first known case to actually challenge that. So that's, it was monumental in that respect. We titled the film Silence in the House of God. You know, because it it's really is silence in the house of God. They were desperately trying to be heard. In addition, they were deaf. So. Well, I want to thank you guys for taking the time and energy to make the film. It's a tough place to live for a long time, and you guys have done a masterful job of storytelling. So congratulations on your honor tonight. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining me here at the TV Academy Honors for the Red Carpet Report. If you like the video, hit like. And if you want to see more, hit subscribe. We'll see you next time on the Red Carpet.